Hello everyone, how are you and welcome back to this channel. Today, I want to show you how to make this beautiful and easy purse for your smartphone. For this project, I use a polyester thread and 2.50mm cursed hook from Tulip. Firstly, create a slip knot. This design uses 48 plus 1 foundation chain. These are three last jeans. Then, I will make first row of the bottom part of this purse. Start with one single crochet on the second chain, then one single crochet in every stitch. So there are 48 single crochets in total. This is the last single crochet for the first row. Make one chain and turn the work. This is the second row. Start with one single crochet in the first stitch, then make one single crochet in every stitch. The bottom part of this purse is made of five rows of reversible single crochets with six side stitches. This is the fifth row. Three last single crochets left. This is the last single crochet of the fifth row. I like to put a stitch marker on the last single crochet to mark the beginning point. This is the bottom part of this purse. Okay, to make this bottom part, make two single crochet in every corner stitch. This is the second one, the third one, and the last corner stitch. Okay, I start with with the first single crochet on a side stitch on the first side stitch. This is the first side stitch. I put one single crochet here and one single crochet in the next one stitch. Two single crochets in this first corner stitch. One single crochet in the next one stitch. Put one single crochet in every stitch. One, 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 one single crochet. I'm approaching the second corner stitch. The next one is the second corner stitch. Two single crochets here. Then one single crochet in the next one stitch. Two single crochets in this third corner stitch. One single crochet in the next one stitch. Two stitches left. This one is the last corner stitch. Take off the stitch marker and put two single crochets in it. Okay. It done. I put back a stitch marker to mark the beginning point. After this, I will start on the first set of the main pattern. I start with one single crochet, I mean one back loop single crochet in every stitch. This is a round single crochet, so I put one single crochet in every stitch. This single crochet is typically a back loop single crochet. So make one back loop single crochet in every stitch until you reach the beginning point. I'm approaching the beginning point. Okay, this is the last back loop single crochet. Okay, done. After that, I make a slip stitch at the beginning point. 
I'm going to make the main pattern now. The right and the left part of the main pattern is made of Suzette stitch. I start the Suzette stitch with one single crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch. Skip one stitch, then make one single crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch. One single crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch. Then the front and the back part of this purse is made of the multiple of six cross pattern. To make this pattern, firstly, skip one stitch, then make six times double crochet, one double crochet in every stitch. These are six double crochets. Then the lower part of the cross stitch. Skip one stitch. Make one double crochet in each of two stitches. Then make one double crochet in the skip stitch. Skip two stitches. Make one double crochet in the next one stitch. Then make one double crochet in each of these skip stitches. One, two. This is the first pattern, the lower part of the cross pattern. After that, make one single crochet. Start from the next one stitch, make, sorry, not single crochet, I mean a double crochet. Make six times double crochet, one double crochet in every stitch. Here you go. Then repeat the previous pattern, make the lower part of the cross pattern, skip one stitch, make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One and two. Make one more double crochet in the skip stitch. Okay then, after that skip two stitches and make one single crochet in the next one stitch. Then make two single crochet, I mean one single crochet in each of the two skip stitches. Okay complete. Okay, this is what the main pattern look like. This is the lower part of the cross pattern. Repeat this pattern until you reach this part. This is the left side of the main pattern. When you are here, you need to repeat this Suzette stitch. This is typically spiral Suzette stitch. Skip one stitch, skip this stitch, then go to the next one stitch, start with one single crochet. Then make one double crochet in the same stitch. Skip one stitch, make one single crochet and one double crochet. Single and double crochet are met in the same stitch. Skip one stitch, go to the next one, then make one single crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, done. Then back to the cross pattern. Skip one stitch, make six double crochet, which is one double crochet in every stitch. Skip this stitch, then make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Make another double crochet back in a skip stitch, like this. Then skip two stitches. Make one single crochet in each of the skip stitches, like this. One. 
and two okay you need to do this you need to always repeat this pattern until you get or until you arrive at the beginning point this is the beginning point make slip stitch above the double sorry above the single crochet make chain one to start the second round then a single and a double crochet and a same stitch back to the Suzette stitch skip one stitch then make a single and a double crochet and a same stitch repeat again skip one stitch then a single and a double crochet and a same stitch after this skip one stitch skip this stitch then make one double crochet in each of the next six stitches there are six double crochet above the previous six double crochets okay now I'm gonna make the upper part of the cross pattern to make this part skip two stitches and make a double crochet and a third stitch then make one double crochet in each of the skip stitches like this this is the first double crochet this one is the second double crochet on the second skip stitch skip one stitch then make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches then make another single crochet back in the skip stitch okay done this is the upper part of the cross pattern this is what it looks like then move to the second pattern make one double crochet in each of the next six stitches This is what the cross pattern looks like then skip two stitches and make a double crochet and the next one stitch this is the upper part of the cross pattern one single crochet in each of these two skip stitches one and this one is the second one okay then skip one stitch skip this stitch then make one one double crochet in each of the next two stitches this is the second one make a double crochet and a skip stitch now have a look this is what the cross pattern looks like repeat this pattern until you reach this part this part use the Suzette stitch start with one single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch skip one stitch make a single and a double crochet in the same stitch skip one stitch again make a single and a double crochet in the same stitch okay perfect then repeat the cross pattern skip one stitch and make one double crochet in each of the next six stitches then make the upper part of the cross pattern Make a double crochet in this third stitch by skipping two stitches then make one double crochet in each of the skip stitch i mean in each of the skip stitches this is another one then skip one stitch make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches then a double crochet in a skip stitch 
Repeat these patterns until you reach the beginning point. Until here. Okay, when you are here, make a slip stitch above the first single crochet like this. Okay, the next round is uh, the new pattern. Okay, make one chain and make a double crochet. Sorry, make one chain and make a single crochet. This part is round single crochet, so make one single crochet in every stitch. This is the end of the first, the first complete pattern. I mean, I end it with a round of single crochet. So make one single crochet in every stitch. This is the last single crochet. Okay, when you are here, you need to make a slip stitch above the first single crochet. This is the first the first round of single crochet is complete. Then the second round of single crochet is the back loop single crochet. Make one single crochet in each of the stitch, but this one is the back loop single crochet. Start from this first stitch. This one is the last stitch. Okay now. one back loop single crochet in each of the stitches or one back loop single crochet in every stitch this pattern looks so gorgeous it's as like repeating the first pattern we create after making the best part of this purse or after making the bottom part of this purse make a slip stitch above the first single crochet this is the complete cross patterns look like. It's really, really cute and really suitable for this, for this purse. Okay, now I'm gonna make the second pattern, the similar pattern. Let's start with the Suzette stitch. To make the Suzette stitch at the beginning of the point, I mean at the beginning of the project, start with one chain, then make a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip one stitch. This is like before. We are repeating. We are repeating the uh, the previous stitch. One single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip a stitch. Make a single and a double crochet in the same stitch. This is the upper part of the cross pattern. This side is made of Suzette stitch. Then is followed by the cross pattern. Skip one stitch. Make one. Double crochet in each of the next six stitches. Then skip one stitch. To make the upper part, sorry, to make the lower part of the cross pattern, skip one stitch and make two, oh sorry, make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches, then make a double crochet back in a skip stitch. Okay, then skip two stitches. After that, make one double crochet in each of the skip stitches. Well, it's done. This is another one. Back to one double crochet in each of six stitches. This is what the pattern looks like. Repeat these patterns until you reach the Suzy stitch part, which is here. Then, repeat the cross patterns until you reach the beginning point. Then, you just need to repeat the previous patterns until you get the high you want. I've got the size that I want and have made slip stitch 
on the first single crochet to end this main pattern. Now I'm going to make the upper part of this purse. I will make one chain, then I will make one round of normal single crochet. This means that one single crochet in every stitch start from this first stitch this one is the second stitch so every stitch is filled with one single crochet this round is made of normal single crochet one single crochet one single crochet in every stitch you need to look at stitch carefully be sure that you're not skipping any stitch this is the end of this round okay okay this is the beginning point i will not make a slip stitch here but i'll directly make another run of single crochet this one is the back loop single crochet so i will make one back loop single crochet in every stitch one back loop single crochet until i reach the beginning point Okay, this is the beginning point. Okay, this is uh, the last back loop single crochet. So the next part, I will make two more rounds of normal single crochet. This is the third round of single crochet. The third round is the normal single crochet and the fourth round is also the normal single crochet. This one is the fourth round of single crochet. This one is the last stitch. I make a slip stitch here to uh, to end this project. Then I will cut the thread. Okay. Then uh, I want to show you how to hide this yarn, and I believe that you know how to do it. You can use either space free needle or smaller crochet hook. Whatever you prefer, as long as you can hide this yarn tail. Okay, this is uh, the size that I want for my uh, smartphone. It really fits and the pattern looks so gorgeous and so beautiful. Well, everyone, I hope you like this pattern. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again on the next video. Have a good day and ha happy crochet. Don't forget to read down, comment, have something to say to me. Bye-bye.